guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Jamie. Today I wanted to talk to you all about cream eyeshadows from the drugstore. So I have a great variety here and I wanted to step you through them, tell you what I like about different formulas and what I think you should expect from the formula and also price points. So hopefully this is something that you're interested in. I would love if you guys would consider subscribing to my channel, but let's jump into this. I have quite a few, quite a large collection and I know that these are really like trending right now. Cream products are all the rage and <laughs> I've been on board for quite some time. I think some of the great things about like a cream eyeshadow like this is that you can just use it as a one and done shadow. You can pop it on your lid and just blend it out and it just makes it look like you put more effort into doing your eye makeup than you did and it's just super simple. And so this is why these are some of my favorite products. So now I have uh, seven of these ColourPop um, cream shadows. So these are the Super Shock shadows. You could buy these on ColourPop. You could also buy them at Ulta. And they are around $6 each right now. So I'm not sure if these colors are still in stock. I know that ColourPop likes to phase in and out different um, colors. So I am not sure, but I wanna explain to you why I like these and you know the differences in the formula because there are a couple differences. So Super Shock Shadow, and it's interesting on, on the website you can see, it'll say like ultra glittery or um, ultra metallic. Sometimes it says, you know, all these kinds of ways that they're, there's a satin one, all different types that they're promoting of these, shade, of these shades, but let me swatch them here and I'll show you what I think are the differences. So I've ranked them here and I've actually ranked them in order of my favorites because I think that's what everybody wants to know, right? What is my favorite formula? So this one is actually my favorite of all of them. And this one is considered an ultra glitter and it's in the shade Lala. It's that one. I feel like that's a perfect lid shade for me. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't see anything ultra glittery. There's no glitter. There's no glitter in here. So I don't know why they would call that an ultra glitter. Very, very strange to me, but it says that on the package here. So. We'll get into that. So this is really a bouncy type of formula. You'll see you can sink your finger in there and actually like move around the product and you just pick some up and then you have to like swipe it in order to get it on. Um, if you just pat it on, it's a lot harder to get it on. I think the real thing here, the best application is really to swipe it on. So you just have to be delicate around your eye area with these. And you think like, oh wow, look at all that product that you have in there. That's a lie, that's not <laughs> all in there. If it just moved a little bit, you would see the bottom of the pan. So this is like false advertising. It's not really that much product. Um, but these are great. They last a really long time. I really enjoy their formula. I've had so many of them and kind of whittled it down to my top seven, I guess now. So. My top, top pick is Lala. So that was it there. Then moving down the line, my second to top pick is Weenie. And I know that this was from um, the Kathleen Lights collection that she did a while ago. There's the color there, same type of thing. It's just like a rose gold, similar to Lala. You can tell what I like. Um, so it's called an ultra metallic um, type of finish and I would say that this is the same as this, maybe just slightly darker. So I don't know why they would call the other one ultra glitter, there's no glitter in there. But let's move to the next one, which is sequin. And this one does have glitter in it. I don't know if you can catch the glitter there. It says it's an ultra glitter on the back of it. And when it's swatched out here, it has glitter in it. So that's telling the truth. Then let's move down. The next one is Blaze. So this is, as you can see, my fourth favorite out of this. Uh, and this one does have glitter in it as well. And it is called an ultra glitter. So true. 
It's an ultra glitter. So the next one is Kathleen Lights, and this is considered a satin. It's this, no, sorry, it's this one. Satin. I would say that's ultra metallic. It has no glitter in it though. Weird satin. I don't know about that. Looks pretty metallic to me. Okay, and then the next one is White Rabbit, and that is this one, and this one is considered an ultra metallic. Agreed. I agree with you there. And then this last one is Nillionaire. And then this one has glitter in it, and it is considered an ultra glitter. Right on, ColourPop. So the only one they really got wrong was this Lala one. So I don't really understand where they were going with that. It seems like somebody was in La La Land when they did that. So cheesy. I've been hanging out with my husband and these dad jokes way too much. Anyway, so moving on to the other arm. So like I said on these though, just so you know, $6. You can buy them from Ulta. You can buy them on the ColourPop website. Um, they're really nice. They wear a long time. I have no problem with this formula. You can see they're dried down and they're not really moving. The glitter does come off some. I wouldn't really pick the glitter ones anyway. So you'll probably get some fallout with the glitter ones, but it should say on the website when you're buying them what formula is. And you should be able to tell that the ultra glitters are not ultra glittery. But anyway, Let's move on to the other side here. So then this one down here, this is the Revlon Color Stay in 710 Caramel. You can see, so that's a cooler tone there. Let's see, on this one, this arm, I had one cooler tone, two cooler tones. And then this, this one's nice. It does, it doesn't transfer. You can see it dries down really well. It's nice. It's not that pigmented. So that's what I would say with this one. You really have to kind of build it up to get the pigment, which is kind of annoying to me. I kind of just like it to be there, but I know a lot of people love these. And these range in price depending on where you buy them from. You can get them from Walmart, Ulta, Amazon, wherever. Typically between like six and eight dollars for this. And you get a pretty good amount of product in there. And once again, you just have to use your finger and swirl. You get some and then you put it on your lid. Yeah, I guess maybe this color is just light so it doesn't really uh, show up that opaque. When you put it on your lid, maybe it's just the color. Maybe it's not the formula. This is the only one I own from that. So anyway, let's move down the line. Then we have these Ulta, Ulta, Ulta brand. They're the Bouncy Cream eyeshadows. And I have two of these. The first one is Champagne Sorbet. And that is right here. And you can see these are more like transparent. They're not very opaque. Uh, they're definitely more like, it feels like a topper type of shadow and they have glitter in them, but the glitter really seems to stay in place. So you're, I don't think you're gonna get as much glitter fallout with these and they are really pretty, but they're just like more of a top coat that's not really gonna stand on its own unless you're going for like a really light makeup look, which I don't think is really a one and done shadow though. But anyway, this is Champagne Sorbet and these run for $9 at Ulta. And then the second one I have here is called Italian Ice. Same, same type of thing, same brand, just slightly different color. But when you look in there, you can definitely see the glitter that's in there. So those are like shimmery top coats. Then moving on, I've got a Mary Kay liquid eyeshadow here, and this is in the color Pink Starlight. I really like this. It's really opaque when you put it on. It stays where you place it. It's really nice formula. I like that one a lot. And then that one is $14, but I figured it's around drugstore pricing, so I would mention it in this video. Then let's move into two of the newest ones that I have in my collection, which are these Flower Beauty watercolor eye tints. They're here. I actually, you know, I bought these online because they don't have them in store where I live. And um, I bought very similar colors. So these are the two right here. So this one with the glitter in it is called Sunset, Sunset Wash. And the one without the glitter in it is called Sienna Wash. So sunsets apparently have glitter, in case anybody wanted to know. 
<laughs> so that's really the difference between the two. Problem I have with this is definitely wear time. They did not last all day on my eyelids, unfortunately. So they're pretty, but only for like short time span. So these are $10 a piece and you could buy those at flowerbeauty.com. And then the last one I have is this one called Nature's Cartel. And oh, it's still tacky, which is, mm, that's not very good because I applied this a while ago. So I have not really worn this one that much, maybe once or twice, and I don't remember any problems with it, but it just seems to be moving around still. Like it's not, it's not drying down. That one's Nature's Cartel. I got this from an Ipsy and you can buy this for $14 on their website. So, and they also sell a three pack, which is what I got, but I've only kept this one. And this one is color 90s nude. So I guess let's recap. These are all ColourPop. Definitely, um, I'm gonna say my favorite formula out of all of them is the ColourPop. That's why I've purchased so many and they're so reasonably priced. Definitely try them if you haven't. And then over here were the other ones um, that I had. It was Revlon, two Ulta's, um, the Mary Kay, and then two Flower, Flower Beauties, and then the Nature's Cartel. So if I had to rank these, I would probably go, yeah, probably maybe in this order, like Revlon. Maybe I would bump up the Mary Kay to be after or before the Revlon. It's probably really comparable to this. Then these two, just because they don't stand on their own as well. And then the Flower Beauty is definitely moving to the end. And Nature's Cartel, I just don't like the way it's still moving around. That doesn't sit well with me. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. I love cream eyeshadows. I have way more that are not from the drugstore that I'm hoping to talk to you guys about. So let me know if you like videos like this. I would love to hear your feedback. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.